Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. And I'm Kevin. And before we get to today's episode, I just wanted to throw something out that's near and dear to my heart and the whole reason we started this channel. So April is two things. So one, my son's birthday would have been in April and he would have been 14. And two, it is World Wish Day on April 29th, um, which is just raising the awareness of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Mm -hmm. Um, My son's wish from Make-A-Wish was to be a YouTube star. Um, Unfortunately, he never got to put out an episode um, but he did get to be a star in another episode for Annoying Orange, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> but we started this channel as a, a bit of a nod to, to Jason and his wish. Yeah. So this month, uh, up until April 29th, which is the World Wish Day, uh, we will, we're will we going to be doing fundraising. We got a link down, in, down below in the description. And if you, you know, can, please make a donation and we will match anything up to $500. So... Uh, it's a great charity and definitely well worth. Definitely a great charity. We'd, we'd love any and all support. Absolutely. Okay, on to the whiskey. <laughs> so huh, this whiskey is from uh, Willie's Distillery in Enos, Montana. Enos? Yeah. Yeah, I think they call it Enos. Okay. Uh, this is the Bighorn Bourbon. So the nod for Bighorn Bourbon is obviously to... The sheep out there, the rams, the ram, the big bighorn rams that are that are out in the Montana area. It's a nod to that. This distillery does a lot of different things. They break. They really make a lot of different. Yeah, they they stuff. kind of they cover they cover the gamut. Yeah, the they, from the, <laughs> the whiskeys to the liqueurs. Yeah, they, yeah everything, everything in between. They had everything going on in there. Outside of that, there's not a <laughs> lot about this whiskey. It is relatively newer. Around 2010 is when it was established. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a newer uh, whiskey. Outside, I don't know, 80 proof, which is not necessarily ideal, but <laughs> understand when you're just starting. So right. this was... You got to make it, you got to stretch it. Mule back by you. Yeah, I brought <laughs> it. I brought it back from uh, spring break. We went to Big Sky, uh, a friend of ours had... Purchased this bottle, brought it up to the house. Uh, we drank between the two of us, probably half that bottle that night, and there was some left, and didn't didn't want to leave it behind. So Absolutely. Filled some, filled a couple handshakes, got an extra one, but uh, yeah. Well, we get to go all two ounces. Oh, oh boy. yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. So this one, and going into. Uh, one of the liquor stores in Bozeman by the airport. Uh, the guy, I said I wanted something local. Um, I, it was he pointed to this one and to the the, the dry was it the Dry Hills Distillery, okay. the one we previously recorded. Uh, this is actually like one of the top selling Montana whiskeys. Okay, that's what he told me. I got taken for his word since. It's his store. <laughs> understand. Understand. And, the other, and I actually, a second store I went to kind of said the same thing. Really? Okay. So, All right. So it's popular probably around locals and people wanting to, like when a, you go into Montana, Bighorn Bourbon, like it it's kind of, does kind of scream I, I Montana. Drank, I drank pretty much all local yeah. spirits and local beer. Okay. I had one bush light. <laughs> from, with Baki. Baki. Yeah. Everything else was everything else. I know was, where that's going. Everything from. else was local. Um, they don't share a mash bill. Uh, it's bourbon. I'm not. Sh- I don't believe it says straight bourbon, but it is so. bourbon, so it's at least 51 percent corn. I, there's no age statement. They don't disclose the mash bill. They really, their website doesn't say much other than it says uh, best enjoyed on a cube or in a cocktail. 80 proof. You don't. Why would you cocktail, want to put it on a cube? Cocktail, yes. Cube? Yeah. Mm, no. Mm-mm. Mm. That is a little, uh, that's crafty. That's yeah. got that craft bourbon, though. It's not really crazy strong like some of the ones that, but there's some sweetness, corn, definitely a corn sweet note in there. Not the heaviest nose. No. <laughs> yeah, even when I had it. In Big Sky, I didn't pick much up off the nose. I just kind of went straight to the palate. There's a little ethanol that kind of kicks off. So you can tell that it is an alcoholic drink, but not the craziest nose. Heavy, 
heavy corn, not quite like the yellow corn or mellow corn. Right. No, not quite there. But, but it's it's along the lines. That's pretty. There's a lot of corn sweetness there. It's very much. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, My mouth dried out too. I was gonna say it's not like like a buttery corn or any corn or anything like that. But yeah, the, there's like a the, what the whistle here. There's a weird. It's not oak. Mm -mm. There's some weird. I don't know. Mm. There's a weird little herbal herbal note to there. With a lot of sweet, a lot of sweet. The nose now, the nose opened up a little bit more. Yeah, but it. To me, it's more of that craft note. The craft note is coming through a little bit stronger to me. Like that, hay grass, okay. like type note. Like that's what I get. That I thought you were referring more toward like the heirloom, like the um, like the revival, that that kind of craft. Kinda. But it's different. It doesn't, no, it's it, doesn't taste, it doesn't taste like that. No, it, it doesn't have that funk in the yeah. palate. Yep. The funk is just on the nose. No, this is sweet. I mean, it's a... There's something with, a little funny on the nose. But the sweetness in this, if you ramp the proof up, yeah. it'd be pretty good. Sweet, dry, with a touch of an herbal note. Mm -hmm. Not a spice, just kind of herbally. So the initial, like right when you kind of get to the back of your throat and you swallow, I get cinnamon right away. Okay. Kind of ling it kind of lingers and then it just kind of goes disappears. That's what that's corn, the that biggest sweet thing. Corn. The everything to me, almost everything just kind of disappeared. Like I know I tasted something, but it's all gone. <laughs> it's weird. No, I mean I've only had three Montana, but I mean this one isn't bad at all. I can see why. It's not bad. I no, I can see why. It's popular. It's popular. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not a bad whiskey. It's just now you said this was about sixty dollars. Uh, fit, yeah, 50 or 60. 50 to 60. Now, sit, now I'm going to have this stuck in my brain. <laughs> it's not it's not better than the Old Fitzgerald Prime or the Kentucky Tavern. <laughs> right? Uh, it's sim Actually, it's kind of similar to the Kentucky, Kentucky Tavern because it, of the sweet note on the palate. But Kentucky Tavern's... I like the palate on this. I just wish the proof was higher. Yeah. I just, well, now every time I see 80, I'm going to compare it to our $10 <laughs> champions. You, well, you have to. I mean, they're all yeah. down there anyway. They're all 80 and they're 10 bucks. Yeah. I'm getting that hay note. Yeah, I can see Grassy it now. Now that you add the water to it, I can get it. Yeah, that it's stronger. The sweetness kind of came down a little bit off the nose, the, the corn note. Actually, I... I like that a little bit better. I almost get more of a rye spice. Yeah, I was gonna say there's almost a spice in there. It sitting on the still tongue with, the with the water. Granted, we didn't add a whole lot. Right. Thin. It was thin. It's very thin. Yeah. It's very thin. But no, I picked up more of a rye. Yep. More rye notes. There's like a almost the rye spice is there. The herbal notes are a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. Like every yeah, the rye. But I don't even know if there's rye in this. I don't know. It's no, they don't. They don't tell us. It's like. Kentucky Fried Chicken, man. It's... <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff in <laughs> there you don't want to know. But they're not going to tell you. I have to think if I was out there. Again, brought three back. I want to say there's six or eight total. Local. Local. Like to Montana. Yeah. There's some mm -hmm. grain up there. They take advantage of the water. Yeah. They, they have pretty clean water up there. They do make a... They, they, they grow a lot of grain and corn mm -hmm. and... And things like that. So, I mean, it's there. It's probably hardier. Like, it's got to be a hardier strain. So, maybe that impacts yeah. the flavor profile a little bit. But how often do you get to try whiskeys from someplace else? That's that's kind of the cool part of just keeping an eye out when you go to a Montana or something like that. Like, yeah, go grab we it. We checked out at the grocery store. And before we even, I even paid the bill, I asked the lady. I said, where's your closest liquor store? And she goes, <laughs> you're in luck because it's right around the corner. Perfect. Yep. Wasn't big, but they had a whole section just for Montana, Montana. Spir spirits. That's awesome. Because most of them up there also make vodka, vodka and, and gins. And yeah, and I would <sighs> imagine distribution is probably pretty limited That'd outside of guess. the state. Maybe yeah. the surrounding. We've got Idaho. What's on the right side? Why are you asking me geography questions? Wisconsin. I'm drinking whiskey. No, Minnesota. I don't know. That sounds right. Yeah, Minnesota. So I imagine it's probably right there. Where is it? The Dakotas. Maybe it's the Dakota. I don't know. I don't know. 
But overall, it was 50, 60 bucks. Buying local is Buying always local fun is to try anyways. Supporting local. I think it's got a good palate. Yeah. Um, I don't mind the palate. The nose is a little, little off-putting for me. I don't long. see using, the, like, putting a cube in this. Mm -hmm. I don't really see it using it as a cocktail either because it's on the 80 proof. So, eh. Some people. For some people. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Not everyone wants a cast drink, the uh, Coke. <laughs> Gotta be over 100 proof. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just has to. It's, it was it was worth mulling back. Absolutely. Yeah, so. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for You're the mule. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wish I actually I kind of wish I had the whole bottle now, but see if it opened up or something. Yeah, but this yeah. was what was left. It was either I take it or left it for <laughs> the next people. The next people. Anyway, quit rambling. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we hope you enjoyed uh, this review of the big, big horn bourbon. Yes. Not a whiskey. No, it's bourbon. Yeah. It's okay. Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, we encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. If you. Let us know of other ones. I've only got three. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know of other ones. And if we can actually get them down in Tennessee, that's that's a big question, too. Anyway, yep. if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We do reviews like this uh, at least twice a week. And if you're interested in learning about uh, a bunch of different whiskeys, all different types of whiskeys, as we get to try them, drop, drop. check it out. Check it out. Drop if you have ideas. Give, yeah. it, give us some ideas for... For some episodes, you know, we just finished the March Madness. If That's there's something right. else similar to that, you know, lo love the ideas, love the suggestions. Yep, and if you have the means, please remember, uh, make a donation. Please. Make a donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, we'd very much appreciate yeah. it. Every little bit counts. Absolutely. So, thanks for watching. See you on next episode. Cheers. Cheers.